<coughs> a little smoky in the shed. <laughs> anyway, we just got the uh, carburetor rebuilt for the Ellis Chalmers. This is it right here. She's a Zenith B1. 1938 issue. Choke. So, we put that back together. There's the carb kit. Roddy was kind enough to do that for me. There's the old valve train that completely got busted in a million pieces, shambled. But we fixed that. One of the towers had broken. And we even put an extra one together so that we have a extra one just in case something happens. But today, we're going to fix the carburetor on the Alice Chalmers and then we're going to smoke some meat. There's our smoker set up. And we're going to do some garlic sausage today. Just waiting for things to heat up in the, in the shed here. We're going to use our little Bradley smoker. Oh, a little bit of smoke in here. I think one of the pipes is leaking. Anyway, we're going to go outside and have a look at the uh, at the Alice and see what we need to do. It's got the battery charger on her right now. Let me just take a look down here. You can see I've pulled the carburetor off. Not bad for 1938, eh? <laughs> you can still see the instructions. So the oil separator or the updraft carburetor had filled with some uh, fuel because the float was sticking. We had a float that was punctured and it was filling with gas. So we had Roddy separate that and then he drained it and welded it back together. So we're going to bolt that back on and hopefully we can have Alice back in shape. We need to do some plowing. There's the boat. <laughs> Wish it was summertime. Anyway, there's there's the old girl. Oh yeah. Minus 12 today, big wind. Not a problem. We're going to go back in the shed where it's nice and warm. And oh yeah. And we're going to put that carburetor on. That's her right there. So we'll come back when we get it bolted on. We'll let you know how it runs.